Today, we head to an abandoned hovercraft port near Ramsgate, and we invite you to join us as we explore the secrets of this once bustling gateway to Europe. Come along and join the adventure. So the sun is shining, we have come out exploring again. We've come down to the Kent coast, we're just around the coast from Ramsgate, it's probably the nearest place, we can literally see it right over there in front of us. Yes. We're not going to Ramsgate though, we're staying just around the coast from there. We're going to go up and see the replica Viking longship and then we are going to explore the abandoned hover port. Now we did come here last year um, completely unintentionally. Our intention last year was to do Pegwell Country Park. Yeah, we kind of <laughs> like worked our way down there and we want to look at it a little bit more. This is one of my favorite, sorry, there's a bit crammy down here. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite places we came last year. I found this really interesting. And then obviously you go back on YouTube, but there's not a lot of video footage of this. No. So um, we wanted to come back and have a proper look around as well. When it was less windy, because it was blowing a hoolie last year. Um, <laughs> I thought it was really, yeah. It was, it was, really it was a nice day, but it was really, really windy. So we didn't spend as long looking around as we probably wanted to. So we're back. That is Pegwell Bay Country Park. We've done a video there not so long ago, actually. We got chased by a massive storm all the way from home to here. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember now. No such thing tonight, though. Look, this is absolutely beautiful. It's warm, it's sunny, it's beautiful. loving life. The hover port is actually just at the base of these cliffs here. Can't really see it from here yet. It's a, but, lot, uh, it's a lot closer than it looks. It is closer than it I looks. I thought it was all the way down there. Although it is uphill. Oh, yeah, right. Let's get this <laughs> over and done with. But I was just going to show you quickly, that there, that's Ramsgate. Yeah. There is also a nice place where you can park your car up. You can have a picnic. There is ice cream. There are burgers. There is all kinds of good stuff. It's probably not open tonight though. This is the replica Viking longship. It was actually sailed in 1949 from Denmark yep. and presented as a gift from the Prince of Denmark. And that is where it and stayed. This is where it stayed now, yeah. I think some restoration work and stuff has been done to it since. Obviously that was a long time ago, but it's here now. It actually looks like some stuff's been done to it since we were here last year. It looks... I don't remember the head and the tail being that colour. No, and it also looks like these shields and the oars down the side have had some work doing to them as well. Obviously that's not what we're here for. We're here to explore this. This is what it used to look like, if you get my shadow out of the way. <laughs> and these are the hovercraft that used to come here and take people over to France. There's another one there as well. Yep, another one there, up on the, uh, the concrete that we're actually going to go down onto. And you can see on the map here, we're, we're just here, just between Ramsgate and Sandwich. Should we head over there and explore? Mm. Of course, we begin our 17-day uh, road trip around England in less than a month now. We haven't revealed where we're going, but I can tell you there will be some Viking-related stuff on that road trip. Ooh. Ooh! Spoiler! But now we're going behind the ship, because down this little passageway here in front of Josh, there's a bridge. Very dodgy looking bridge from what I remember. Oh, we go down the steps. I think I remember this last oh, time. Oh yes, it, it was, was all wet last time. Because <laughs> it's quite under, oh this is the bridge, you can't go on this bridge anymore. Oh yeah, so this is the old bridge, the old walkway, the passenger walkway. To take you to the hover port. But right? there is there is a bridge that we can go on, isn't there, yeah. I remember? I think, no, well, you can see this and it's very tilted, so we'll show yeah. you when we get down there. First of all, we've got to get through this. Although I feel like uh, we've probably got better shoes on this time. Oh, someone's put a beam there. That's handy. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for ever done that. There you go, look, oh. here's the um, bridge. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, how that didn't sting me is beyond me. You hit it at the right angle. It didn't feel threatened by you. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is where people would have walked from there over, over this bridge. Love a band. Down Stop these steps. Really, really fascinating. Oh, it is cool, isn't it? Um, you can't obviously go on this, it's blocked. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I'd want to go on that, if I'm honest. Uh, no, I don't know. I think that's meant to be bent like that, actually. Yeah, I think it is meant to be bent like that, yeah. Still not going on it, though. No, because you can see that really big rust mark, so don't do that. Okay, so judging by the parts we've seen already, it's overgrown a lot since we last came here last year, but we're going to start right at the top, at the main entrance with the roundabout, and then we'll work our way down and show you guys what we can show you it looks eerie. 
I just had to breathe in and suck myself through some brambles. <laughs> so this was the uh, roundabout. This is definitely overgrown since we Ooh. last arrived. There was a sign which you can just about yeah. see is hidden behind the, uh, what do you want to call it, trees or bushes? Yeah. But bloody hell, that's really it was, overgrown. Uh, wow. It was an electric road sign to tell you what to do, basically. Yeah. So. There was writing on the floor down here, which you could barely see, but then we did find them on Google, didn't we? Yeah, it's obviously faded a lot since the pictures that we found, but yeah. um, we'll try and find it, because this would have been the old road entrance in. So, I can't remember what it said. It looks... I think it says go or stop or something. Look how deserted this looks. And this is obviously, people that live in the UK will know what a roundabout really looks like. And that's what it looks like now. Oh, here you go. So we found, what did it say, think? No, no. thank? No, I don't, I can't work out what it says if I'm honest. You can't work out. If you can work out what this says or know what this says, leave a comment down below. I'm sure there was another one up here, but can't no, I think it was seem down. to see it. The other roadways. Yeah, well, we'll let you guys know when we see it. I'm, sh I'm sure there was two here, but that was a year ago. Oh yeah, that was oh, it. Here, look, there was cars. one above it. Cars, cars. here. So C car A R S cars. I think it says cars here. Something like that? Maybe. Maybe? That definitely says cars. Yeah. I, I, can't really work out what this says. It looks like there would have been five letters. If you guys know anywhere in the UK that's not too far away to travel from the Kent area that is abandoned like this, that you can walk around, please comment down below and let us know of the place. Because I really would love to do something abandoned. That would be fun. Not like haunted, derelict, falling down houses. Not that sort of abandoned. No. Like this, nice and open. Nothing <laughs> that's breaking the law either. We don't want to do any of that. We just want to go something that you're free to go and wander around. Like this. This is okay for us to wander around. Not really much left of the sign, is there? No, I don't think it's in working order. <laughs> I don't know what way to go. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Or do I go that way? I don't know, but the sea's out tonight. Yeah, strange. Let's go this way. How creepy does this look? Just abandoned left. So I'm assuming this is the car park because I can actually see car parking spaces, which I'll get up close and show you guys in a minute. I want to take some pictures first because why the hell not? And then we'll take you down where the hovercrafts actually used to go and come on, I don't know what the Pacific words are, he's the brains of the operation. So this is where all the cars would have parked waiting to get on to the hovercraft. You can still see the old parking bay lines. Probably one of the clearest markings we'll see actually. I'm sure there is some writing on one of the other other bits over here as well, but you can literally see the parking line all the way down still. And as I said, the sea's very far out tonight, but that's why this would have been perfect for hovercraft, because they didn't need the sea to be right up. They could literally just come on the land, come up the ramp. Perfect. There's loads of old tyres down here. I'm assuming they would have been used to, like, cushion oh, in case so. one most, got out of control or used, something. Use that, don't they? Also, it's really beautiful down here, like, Look at this landscape with the white cliffs over there. Look cool, but I do remember when the sea was in last year, it was really nice just sitting here and the water gushing up against the rocks. Yeah, you could literally walk down to the end of that ramp and the waves were crashing over it. If we can find that footage, we might put some in for you just so that you can see it with the water in, but it's well, kind of cool to see it with the water out as well. I hope you're interested in this vlog then. <laughs> <laughs> There's loads of these concrete bollards left, but this one has still got all the tyres around it. I'm assuming they probably would have all had tyres around them at some point. I'm sure I saw another one over there by the bridge when we came in that had tyres on it as well. Bit for the old Instagram. So we're now actually walking on the old on and off ramp where the hovercrafts would have left and come back up onto the shore to offload and load more passengers and cars on them. It's pretty amazing really, like the lines are still on the floor where you can see they would have been aiming to Just come in. Like, yeah. they, they, they're dead. They're little, little, little. They're there the most compared to everything else. I don't yeah. know what the right word is. But um, yeah, they're, they're, they're not as faded as everything else, That's basically, is what he's trying to say. That's what he's trying to say. But it must have been quite an amazing sight just to see this massive hovercraft come out of the ocean and up onto land on this massive air cushion with these big fans going at the back of it. Like, that must have been quite a sight. Now look at it. And I think, you know, that I think they just 
stopped doing it because it wasn't commercially viable anymore. They built the Channel Tunnel, they'd got the ferries from Dover and everything, and it just wasn't making the money to, to keep them running. So uh, it's a shame. I believe the shame. only hovercraft still running in the UK are the ones that go from somewhere in Hampshire to the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing to think that these hovercrafts would have just come... Well, if I'd have been stood here when one come up, I'd have been squidged. You can see the big dotted line. There's one down each side of the on-ramp. And then in the middle, you can just make out a line, solid line, going down there. I don't know if it would have been one way on and one way off, There's maybe. There's also yellow markings. Oh, yeah, I didn't see those, yeah. I wonder what... Um, Yeah. It goes straight all the way down. All the way down there. So I guess they had a bit of manoeuvre room, I suppose, because it wouldn't have mattered whether they'd come up here or on the, the main bit, but unless they parked them here. Maybe they do you park a hovercraft? Maybe they parked them there. So we don't know what this would have been. Obviously there was something sticking out of the ground here next to these yellow markers. I don't know whether it would have been like a buffer post or something, if the hovercraft were drifting to the side or something. There's like rust marks in the floor as well there so there was obviously different things in there there's actually another one up there exactly the same as this and josh has gone down to this one because there's another one they're all in a line so i'm assuming it would have been like a side buffer well i think i think they would have been like side buffer i think they would have been bollards because they're all in a line and if you look you can just make out a yellow marking going this way but then here this yellow marking was a solid line all the way up so i think they're at a slight angle so I think they would have been like a buffer, like then you wouldn't have had anything there basically. Yeah. So if the hovercraft drifted too much this way, there would be a buffer for them to go into the side of, I suppose. Also, I just checked with our friend, trusty Google. It said that this operated here as a hover port between 1969 and 1987. Oh, so it's older than me then. <laughs> it's older than you, yes. In fact, they stopped running before you were even born, Joshua. I was one year old <laughs> when they wow. stopped running and they used to go from here over to Calais. We don't think we actually walked on this bit last time. We were just trying to work it out because the sea was right in. The wind was blowing a hooli. The waves were crashing up against the ramp. We would have seen those. Yeah. So I think the sea was, was right up here. But as you can see tonight, it's so far out, I can't even see where it starts. And it's so peaceful down here. There's no yes. wind. We thought it was going to be chillier down here. So we've got our trousers on. I even considered bringing a hoodie. I'm so glad Before I didn't. You were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> if we head round and then we can just work our way back over there and go back up. Yeah, because I think there's some more road markings and stuff in this bit up here that we haven't seen. Yeah. Now this is definitely the most clearly defined marking that's still left. I'm assuming I don't know whether I'm now confused. I don't know whether they would have come up there and back round here and back out to sea. Because it looks like a well, I was going to say it looks like a give way line, but you know, that's obviously not the case. There's a big hole as well. <laughs> I was like, Josh, do not fall down the hole. No, it's really starting to fall apart. Like, you can really see it all along here now. Yep, yeah, it, it is. is. I mean, it has just been left here since 1987 with nothing happened to it. I mean, that's not true. The only thing that has happened, there would have obviously been terminal buildings over here at some point they did demolish all the terminal buildings and that was obviously for safety reasons. I'm sure reasons. when we were last here there was actual there were fences up there and there were workmen there still knocking things there down. There were they so were that is yeah. now gone. So we can go down there and actually have a look see what they've done I guess. Yeah so this bit was all fenced off as Josh said last time we came down here so we can walk down here there's some massive conifer trees like I don't know if they would have been planted when it was operational but they've definitely grown a bit since I would have thought. Quite a lot. But we were just trying to work out where the terminal buildings would have been. We don't know if they were here at the base of the cliff, but then this looks like it would have been the side of an old roadway because that's definitely a curb and that's one of the old rainwater drains that you get at the side of the road. So I don't know whether they would have been here behind that or whether they would have been over here. I think that here would make more sense. It would, really. So maybe, I, don't, I really don't know. I mean... Picnic area. Maybe this was, this was a picnic area for people waiting. <laughs> Imagination's running wild. We're still looking for some evidence of where the buildings might have used to have been, but we found this right at the back here. Arrows. Yeah. So this would have obviously 
been a roadway, which means the buildings wouldn't have been right at the back. Because so. you can actually see, oh, there's a line there as well, look. So I'm guessing that would have been the end and you would have driven up driven this bit, yeah. Yeah, so that, that leads to the exit. Yep. And entrance. And maybe that's boarding that way. Maybe. Which means that the buildings may have been behind these big conifer trees over there. More towards the middle, which I would, would make sense. I would see some people's pictures. So yes. if someone's found this video and you have pictures of this, I would love to see them. Yeah, let us know. So you could either email them to us or just show us it. Share it to us on our social media. Tell us where to go. Way. Yep. Because I would, would love to see them. It would be incredible to see what it used to look yeah. like. I'm sure we can find it on Google, but we'd love to see your pictures. Yeah, Google, you can see them on Google, but it's nice to see people's personal pictures if they don't mind us seeing them. Especially if you've got a story to go with them. Yes. Now, we don't think these are original from 1987. No, because they actually say <laughs> social distancing on them. Yeah, so <laughs> there's a set there. There's several down here. So now we're wondering, did they have some sort of vaccination centre here? Very weird place to have it, but I would love to have my jab here. Or was How there cool. social distancing between 1969 and 1987 that we don't know anything about? There wasn't a pandemic then, was there? Not that we know of. No. So we found a number two. There's a line that goes there's, straight down there. There's lines there is that a go number, all the way down. There, oh yeah, there's lines that go all the way down. There's a number three there. You can maybe kind of just make that out. Can't really see that. Much. And then there's a number four, four which is half just buried. here, which is buried by the sign, uh, grass, and then there's a five there with the lane marking, so I'm assuming it would have been you'd load row one first, then row two, then row three, four, five, etc. So this is where they would have loaded on. So at least you know it's that way. It's that there. That. that looks like a five. Oh, so more rows. Yeah, yeah That's look. Five. That's five. That's Three, definitely. Six. No, this is nine. Is it? This is a nine. Oh, nine. So that would have been an eight. Interesting. Oh, we've got another shot of the bridge. I was just saying it makes perfect sense. There would have been a road right at the back because if there wasn't a road, why would you have needed a pedestrian bridge over? It would have just been a set of steps that carried on down there where we've just come down. Oh yeah, there is markings on the floor as well. So I reckon they would have come down here, up that way, or out from that other bit we're in and out this way. One of the two. Yeah, because if you went round the roundabout, there's another way where we walk down. Yeah. Down. And we're in we're in the UK, so on the left that would make sense. So this is probably the way out for the cars. Seen some cat's eyes. Ooh. More oh, stuff. Concrete bollards. Concrete bollards. A bit more there. We're going to um, walk up back to the roundabout and head up to the top, just to see if we can see anything else before we head back to the vehicle. This is the park we said about earlier. Um, everyone parks along here. There's a shop here that sells ice cream, barbecue stuff, you know, all the good stuff. It's just a shame it's shut so early, like it's the middle of the summer and it's half six. It would have been nice to park up and have a picnic. It would have been nice, but never mind, it's fine. So as we've, as we've made ourselves to the top, this is where we was walking mm -hmm. in amongst everything. Who would have thought it was there? Because I wouldn't have. God, here we go. This is how he breaks his leg, people. Gotta do a bit of parkour. Oh, God. <laughs> We'd like to give a massive shout out to all of our patrons and our YouTube members for their continued support of our content. If you haven't already, you can subscribe by clicking on our faces in the circle, or you can watch more of our vlogs by clicking on the rectangle. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.